Hello and welcome to Let's Play Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we started working our way through the uh, Palace of Shadow. And in this episode, we're going to continue doing just that. And I've got Bobber here, because if we can't take these guys out ourselves, remember that explosions do extra damage to enemies. And as tempting as that item there is, Mizmaus can't get it because they're on fire. I'm wearing ice power, right? Let's find out. Yes, I am. Alright, so no need to use Bobbery's expensive move. Let's just get Koops out. I guess this is one use of having Koops' move here. I've said before that it's pretty uh, redundant, which it is, but it's a little bit less expensive than Bobbery. And Vivian would have made them multiply with her fire move. Almost, We're already halfway to our next level, so that's a good thing. I believe I was saying I was going to do one more uh, level of BP, and then if I gain another level, which is not impossible, then I'm going to do HP. I would really love to have that power punch. Then again, I've said how much I like this item. I don't think I've used a single one the entire game. <laughs> I've just been relying on the uh, power lift. That, that could be more of where, like, Double Dip or Triple Dip would come in. So Mario could do a power lift on his turn, and then your partner could use Double Dip to use a boo sheet and a power and a power punch. And that would be quite good. And if you're using Triple Dip, you can throw in a Trial Stew if you're doing uh, Danger Strats, or Peril Strats, more like. I'm trying to remember what we did to get rid of these guys without taking damage last time. I think we just... Whoop, not close enough. I think we just hammered and then, like, did a star move or something. Let's see. Should we bring out Ms. Mouse? Let's do that when we're a little closer to gaining a level. <laughs> oh! Quake Hammer. Just want to address this. Um, on the moon... I should have used this. I realized in editing I was doing all this stuff with Bobbery and, like, I could have just used Quake Hammer the entire time. Anyway, I take it back. I want to use Ms. Mouse's move just because, I don't know, I, we, we don't use her at all. Just reminding everybody that she does pierce defense, although you may lose audience members for using her. Didn't in that case. I'm just gonna do a normal hammer. I'll deal with whatever bills come out. Just do, like, an Earth Tremor next turn or something. There we go. I was kind of hoping we'd get to see it, uh, put two bills in the air. Alright, Earth Tremor. that taken care of. I think that's the last one. I don't think there's going to be another long corridor like this. Unfortunately, no experience for the bullet bills. Bombshell bills, excuse me. We done in here? Yes. We're inside the Palace of Shadow. There doesn't seem to be anything special here. Still, it has that same gross feeling, even though it's so nice and spacious. Yeah, nope. Oh, there's lots of enemies in here. What do you mean there's nothing here? Alright, I will bring Bobbery out for this. Just a room full of bones and some free items. Hmm... See, here's the thing with this. Now I can't do, uh, hammer-type attacks on anybody past that, that guy in the front. I guess I could just show here that if you use a bomb attack on a dead pile of bones, it will destroy it. You don't get any more experience for it, but you can hit things behind it now. Oh, whoa, that was more damage than I want to take. Alright, we're gonna be healing outside of battle, I think. I brought healing items for a reason. I am playing kind of a dangerous game being this low HP in here. Alright. I need something for HP. 
Maple Ultra is overkill. 15, 15. That's the problem with the Zesty items. They really give you more uh, FP than anything. I mean, basically anything that's jelly or maple is just a full heal, so maybe I'll just do that. How's my FP doing, actually? Eh. I can, uh, I can stand to get it up a little bit higher. Let's do a... Where'd it go? Let's, let's eat the zest cookie. That ought to do it. Unfortunately, I used my one pure HP healing item, the zest frap, uh, to try and find the snow bunny. There it is. P up, D down, P. I've been waiting for that one. Um, I'm gonna keep all or nothing on for now, because I said I would. And on goes P up, D down, P. We already know how this works, because I've been using the Mario version. Ooh, free jam and jelly. But now the partners are, uh, up to speed. Actually, I should probably check my badge setup right now. See if that extra three badge points is actually gonna help me when it comes down to it. Alright, so Mario is now doing seven, not eight, because remember, uh, one of them, one of those attack powers is from Ice Power. But with all the uh, boosts we have, we've got seven HP, or yeah, seven damage per jump, which means fourteen damage overall as long as nobody's got defense. Pretty sweet. At the cost of taking a little extra damage sometimes. Gotta be mindful of that. You gotta remember when you're wearing these badges, you are missing a point of defense. Hmm. I'm gonna do the same thing, but in a different order. If anybody's gonna get hit by that guy in the middle, I want it to be Bobbery. Oh, just in case anybody was wondering, there's no way for an enemy to get Bobbery to blow up like an enemy bob -omb. Like, if he gets hit by a fire attack or something... Darn it! I knew he'd be able to do that. But yeah, if Bobbery gets hit by a fire attack or something, it doesn't, like, do extra damage or anything. Ooh, that only did seven. Okay. Oh, I should have... Okay, that was just a can. I was gonna say, I should have checked to see what that was. That could have been an item. Alright. We're actually pretty quickly approaching the next level, or at least quicker than I was expecting. I'm not gonna cut any battles out in here. That's what I've decided. This is the last dungeon. Let's have the full experience. Alright, nothing hidden in here. Believe... Oh, yeah, we gotta do this first. Alright. We're inside the Palace of Shadow. Seems normal, but I bet there's a secret here. We should check everything to make sure there's nothing amiss, don't you think? You know, look for anything out of the ordinary. This is a common puzzle in video games. I think they might have even had something like this in the, uh, the original Paper Mario, if I remember correctly. You find the, um, this looping room. Actually, does, do we have a different tattle for this? I'd be curious. No, it's all the same. So, as far as anybody knows, this is a looping room that's exactly the same every time you enter or exit a door. If you keep going in the door that has the torch lit, you will eventually get through it. I honestly don't remember if this is random or not. I don't think it is. I think it's the same every time, but I could be wrong about that. They also confuse you on purpose, because the first time you go through the door with a torch, the next one is also the one with the torch. I may have gotten stuck on this for a bit as a kid. I don't think I had to look it up, but I think I got stuck. Here's the door with the torch here. And also, it's a little disorienting, because if you go in the door at the top, you come out at the top as well, so it looks a little bit different. So you wonder, oh, is this, is this different? Have I moved on? But nope. I don't think they ever make you go back. I think if you try to go back the way you came in to the left, it takes you to, like... The beginning. It exits this room completely. I think. I'm not gonna try it now. <laughs> I've made too much progress. Uh, this goes on for a while. I understand the appeal of a puzzle like this, but it could stand to be shorter, <laughs> if you ask me. At this point as a kid, I probably might would have given up and thought that I was doing something wrong. But we made it. I don't recall if you have to, like, if you leave and then come back in, if you have to go through all that again. Man, we clear one freaky room just to find another. This area is almost like an underground city, huh? What is this place? This is the palace garden, but it feels so cold and icky. It's like time stopped here. 
We gotta do something about those chain chomps in the middle if we want to move on. Yeah, that's right. I don't just mean the moving ones. Now, I don't remember if we fought chain chomps down in the pit, but we are about to find out. Just your bog standard chain chomp. Powerful foe, don't underestimate him. That said, we're pretty powerful too. And no, these are new enemies. That's a chain chomp. I'd hate to get chomped by those teeth. They look nasty. Max HP is seven, attack is six, and defense is five. Its body is hard, so attacks won't do much. So most attacks won't do much. Plus, you can't damage it with fire and ice attacks. You can freeze it though. Luckily, it has low HP, so you could take it down with a special move or an item. Chain Chomps are, like, so super pumped all the time. Don't they ever get tired? And they did, in fact, not make the mistake of giving it 6 or less HP. So we're gonna take this out with an Art Attack. On the next one, we won't have to waste a turn tattling, so I'll, I'll see if I can come up with something that doesn't involve star power. Ah! I bet Shell Slam could do some damage here, because these guys have high, de uh, high defense. I guess I found another use for it. Maybe it's not quite as redundant as I think it is. Oh, I was hoping they'd give us good experience. Anything above one is good at this point. <laughs> Alright. There's more chain chomps over there. Let's go get them. Probably didn't need to pull Melon out just for that. In fact, let's uh, take Coops out. See how much damage he can do. Ooh, there's three of them this time. Another good thing to keep in mind with all or nothing is if you're doing a lot of hammer attacks, that's a really easy action command. Even easier than the jump command, I think. Whoa! All right, I take back everything I said. In the right circumstance, nine piercing damage across the board is just good. Wow. I uh, lost my train of thought there. I think I was saying something, but uh, can't recall. <laughs> Shouldn't have used that healing item, I guess. No, if I hadn't used that healing item, I would have died to that bones. All right, let's do something about the chomps in the middle. This also took me a second as a kid. Again, I don't think I had to look it up, but I... Actually, no, I think I did have to look this up. I didn't realize you could blow that up. I was a little silly as a kid. Specifically, I wasn't particularly observant. I'm still not the most observant, but I, I probably would have been able to figure this out on my own these days. Yeah, Paper Mario, this or this Paper Mario was out about the time when I discovered the internet. Or the video game FAQ internet, anyway. I think I might have mentioned that before. Alright, so doing that made a thing appear. I think it made that boat panel appear. But there's no point in a boat panel with uh, nowhere to go. So let's continue, see if we can fix that. This door is locked, right? No, it's not actually. Let's go in here now. Yeah, I think we have to do something in here before we can do that out there. All right. We're inside the Palace of Shadow. This seems to be a corridor. I'm observant, huh? Listen, Mario, I know I've said this before, but don't forget that you're not, al you're not in this alone. You should rely on your partner's abilities if you ever get stuck or anything. Thanks, Goombella. I've been doing that the whole time. Do they assume that you haven't been using your partners the entire time? Oh, well, I guess it was just supposed to be nice. These guys we have seen before, so I am just going to wipe them out. Interesting to note that they're still giving us three star points. That means if we were to do the pit again, just for fun, as I sometimes do on my own, we would level up. Should be more of them in here. Oh, another chomp. This is another corridor. I wonder how long these things go on. I'm sure we'll need all of your special skills and those of your partners. Don't forget to use your strongest muscle, too. Your noggin. <laughs> well, this is hinting to a big puzzle. Come here. There we go. How many are there? Just two. Actually, Ms. Mouse might be able to help us take this out. Well... Nah. We'll just go for the Shell Slam. There's a reason I don't particularly want to take damage right now. 
I have more FP than I have HP. I'm trying to do that stylish command. Either I'm not getting the timing right, or it's not the same as all his other stuff. Anybody else in here? Nope. Alright, is this the end? No. We're inside of the Palace of Shadow. This is another corridor. Big surprise. We better watch below our feet as well as above our heads, know what I mean? But, uh, don't forget the area above your head, too. Does that make any sense? It will. Don't worry. Alright, who's here to get us this time? Nobody? Nobody! Alright then. We're inside the Palace of Shadow. There don't seem to be any big puzzles here. We just need to open- to go open that door on the right. That's all. Whee! Exciting. Excuse me for one second, I'm just gonna take a sip of water. And here we go. We don't just have to go open that door, there's enemies in the way. Ooh, another rare item that I can't steal. Not that Ruin Powder actually has much use outside of the cooking stuff we've already used it for, so I don't really care, but it is hard to come by. The only place you can buy it, as far as I know, is Far Outpost, and that's not easy to get to. There's no shortcut out there. Then again, with Bump Attack now, it wouldn't take all that much to get there. It's kind of a shame there's no, no such thing as Ice Partner, or Ice Power Partner. That'd be fun. Being able to attack these guys with Goombella. Just gonna have to pull out Bobbery instead. Alright, Bobbery. You do get good use out of a variety of your partners in here. Still can't really think of a place where Flurry in particular is gonna be uh, all that useful, but that's probably just my bias. People do make good use of her. Ah, a suspiciously placed save block. Who are you? No one's disturbed me here in eons! Aeons! Eon is another word. <laughs> Who dares defile this sacred place? Hey, isn't that Hooktail? We totally beat it before. What's it doing back? What? You destroyed my precious younger sister? I wondered why she hadn't written recently. Quake and fear, mortals, for I am Gloomtail. I will avenge my sister by taking your lives and then gnawing on your bones. Yeah, I don't think so. We beat your big brother, Gloom- or uh, Bonetail. Your big, big brother. So big that he's dead. <laughs> my first fresh meat in ages. Allow me to take my time and toy with you a while. Um, let's see. Well, first things first. Let's tattle. That's Gloomtail. I think he's Hooktail's brother. I see the family resemblance. Max HP is 80, attack is 8, and defense is 2. He'll bite or stomp you, and he may also breathe poison on you. Great. When his HP gets low, he may throw in some other attacks as well. Wouldn't surprise me. Especially watch out for his Mega Breath move, because the word is it's gnarly. He also stores power for some attacks, so use Vivian to hide to avoid those. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Vivian out because I want to get it burned. So I will have her out when I do Power Lift. Hoping for some good defense here. Remember, we're both being... Or we're both, we both have a decreased defense right now. Mm, I think it hurt me. I was gonna say it was all defense there for a while, but then the then the offense stuff came in. Although I just remembered the really unfortunate thing. His breath is piercing, because of course it is. Alright. Gonna keep a close eye on Mario's health. I'm less worried about partners getting to low health, because they're a bunch of them. But let's see. I'm just gonna do power smash, you guys know how I roll. Especially with all or nothing on, I am not going to be messing around with uh, spring jumps right now. Wait, did he just get confused? Oh my gosh! It's 
rare enough for bosses to even get afflicted with status at all. I've never seen that happen before. Wow. Alright, eight damage. Not bad, not bad. Okay. I want to see him get confused. Like, do something weird because he's confused. Be shame for it to happen to a big boss and then have nothing happen. This would be really nice. Yeah! Not very often you see that. This is going great! <laughs> you are tough meat, my little tasty morsels. But how will you fare against this? Okay, so I got lucky, but he missed Vivian. That was from the confusion. Wow! Go figure, huh? Alright, let's refresh the power lift. Maybe I should have gone for Goombella there. Probably should have. Interesting! <laughs> Four defense and only plus one attack. Well, not all of his attacks pierce defense. Yeah, I can already see we're not as boosted up as we were before. Gah. You are you are not the easy prey you appear to be. I would never be able to show my face again if I was bested by you whelps. So I will show you the true extent of my power. Nothing happened. He was supposed to charge there, and the next turn he would use Mega Breath. But because he was confused, he didn't. And I'm curious to see if he's going to try it next turn, because I don't think we're going to knock him out this turn. I think we got... Yeah, we got one more round left in us. Let's see if he charges up or if he just attacks. Yeah, he charged... Oh my gosh! Usually I like to use Vivian to, uh, to hide from that. But because he missed his turn doing it, I don't even have to. Wow, that was the best Gloomtail battle I've ever had. <laughs> no, no, is it true? Can I expire? That might have been the best boss fight. Uh, bo uh, yeah, see, that might have been the best boss fight I've ever had. <laughs> and we gained that level. All right, one more BP. And if we gain another level, which we actually might, then I'm gonna go for HP. And if I feel really uncomfortable, I might use that BP to put it. Well, I don't have an HP plus with me. Never mind. Gotta live with our choices down here. First things first. Let's see what we got going on here. I think I can take off the- ooh, I should put Spike Shield back on. Yeah, there's not really anything I can take off now, so I'll be able to- I'll be able to put on the last power plus for the, um, for the final boss, though. Alright, let me actually just put Spike Shield on while I'm thinking of it. I don't remember if I need it, but if I do, now I have it. You got a star key, a strange star-shaped stone. Yep, we're gonna need that. This is Gloomtail's room. I wonder if he was here for all thousand years. Dragons do live a long time, I heard, but dang. Without him in it, there doesn't seem to be anything special about the room. That is not true. This is very easy to miss. But there is a hidden room back here. I don't remember how I figured this out. I think I might have seen it on a video or something. Come on, I know it's back here. Yeah, you can see, there it is. You can see the crack. Don't miss this room. Trust me. Do we get a special tattle? No, I guess not. If you come back here, you get a free ultra shroom and a free jam and jelly. You know, I probably found this place by using Ms. Mouse now that I think of it, because it's considered the same room, so she would absolutely be giving you um, uh, her little sign that there's still something in here. And you cannot, as far as I know, get those later. Those are missable. 
Now we just have to go all the way back through the long corridor. I would, if you're playing, just playing, I would recommend saving right there. But we're okay. Not only can we not save right now, but we just had a uh, good roulette. And we never got hit after that, so <laughs> I'm not worried. All right. Boy. Talk about a long corridor. I think that's the end of it. it. No, it is not the end of it. My goodness. Don't really have all that much to say about this. It's just a corridor. Very repetitive. Even the background doesn't really change up. I wonder if that's on purpose. It does do a good job of giving you kind of a sense of, like doom and anticipation. And I was actually jumping the gun a little bit. You don't need to save right there. And we got another pipe with another button. I like the way these pipes look. They're kind of like that, they look like those columns in the background. It's nice. It's like really kind of an ancient feel, which I'm sure is exactly what they're going for. We've got another boat panel. So now we have opened up a way to go. Let's head back and get to boating. I don't know if I've ever really noticed that there's no music in here. Like, I'm sure I have, but I don't know if I consciously, like, made note of it. But yeah, there's no music in here. It's just ambient water noises. It's kind of nice. It's got kind of like a relaxing feel while still being kind of, like, off-putting. Just because clearly everything in here is not right. <laughs> As far as I know, I don't think this goes anywhere here. Oh, you actually can go this way. There's nothing here, though. In fact, let's uh, let Ms. Mouse tell us there's nothing here. Nothing here. Alright, in we go. How could there be such a huge tower underground? And why was it built? There seem to be a lot of rooms here, and every one contains a riddle. This is my favorite part of the game. I love the way this place looks, I love the music, and there's just something satisfying about this place, just going through and completing every little bit. I love this place. There's something written on the wall. Based on that message, I'd say... There's definitely something in the center of the room, don't you think? But what are we supposed to do with something we can't see? This is insanity. Yeah, there's definitely something there. So these are, uh... These are hints for the puzzles. The line in the middle, I suspect, like in all the rooms, if you combine all the lines in the middle, I suspect it gives a message, but you can ignore it for the actual puzzle. The unseen may yet be felt, be it here, be it there, so that we the great ones. I'm not gonna be keeping track of that message, but you guys certainly can. <laughs> well, we know, we know what to do with hidden things. I'm sure that message has been written somewhere very easily accessible. You got a palace key. A key for a pedestal in the Palace of Shadow. That's what this place is. Just like Gumbella said, it's a bunch of rooms with a bunch of riddles, and each one gives you a key. I really, really like the music in here. I don't know what it is about it. It's not exactly pleasant to listen to, but it doesn't have to be. All you see isn't all there be. Touch it to pass through it. Stones have power of stars. Clearly the lines in the middle are talking about the lore of the, the crystal stars in the old city. There's something written on the wall. Based on that message, I'd say. There's something fishy about the wall here? Uh, maybe? We ought to investigate. Yeah, this room does seem awfully small. Some of the puzzles are extremely obvious. Some of them are a little bit more involved, though. Got another key. Alright, let's see what's in the next room. Aha! There's something... that's the same. Maybe if we break a block here, it'll do something to a block in another room? Yeah, you can't complete this room right now. Four stones, twin stones. Two are one, one is two. Master of Shadow and Dark. This room is a twin with a room above it. You can only do so much in there for now. And 
think we can only do so much in here for now because the episode is over. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, and I hope I'll see you in the next episode where we go even further into the Palace of Shadow. Bye-bye! <laughs>